Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show a very instructive chess game. This is the game between Jan Timan and Garry Kasparov that was played in Prague in 1998. Where is Prague? It is the capital city of Czech Republic. Timan had white pieces and he started with d4. Kasparov played d5, c4, c6, knight to f3, knight to f6, knight to c3, and Kasparov captured on c4, and we have Slav defense. e3. The most popular move in this position is a4, preventing b5. Timan played e3, and Kasparov protected pawn, and now he is a pawn up. Most of the time, Kasparov would sacrifice a pawn or two to get good development and activity of his pieces. So this is something unusual. a4, b4, knight is under attack, and options are knight to e2, a2 or b1, and this is what Timan played. Bishop to a6, protecting pawn on c4, queen to c2, attacking, but b3, and queen must go to d1. If queen goes to c3, then knight to e4, so queen to d1 was played. e6, bishop to e2, if Knight to e5, then c5 will be played, and after knight takes, pawn takes, black will be better. So in the game, bishop to e2 was played. c5, attacking d4 pawn, Timan castled kingside, knight to c6, knight to e5. And I thought I would chop this knight. And then after pawn takes knight to d7 and f4. But uh, Kasparov played even better move. That is rook to c8. Now knight to a3. And pawn on c4 will fall. But Kasparov doesn't care. He captured on d4. Knight from a takes on c4. And it is black to move. And Kasparov played a very good move in this position. It looks risky, but queen to d5 is a very good move. And now Timan played bishop to f3, and pressure is on, of course on the queen, and then on the knight. But uh, there was one very interesting continuation here, and that is knight to d6. That looks very good. So bishop is now attacking bishop on a6. But let's have a look. What would happen then? This is Kasparov's analysis. Bishop takes knight. Bishop takes bishop, bishop attacking rook. Queen takes knight, threatening checkmate. f4, queen to c5. And now bishop takes rook. Pawn takes pawn. And uh, just to show you what's the danger, if, for example, bishop to a6, then e2 is winning queen. That's why in this position, Kasparov said that king to h1 is the best move. But after castling, bishop to a6, and knight to d5, and black is much better, according to Kasparov. I thought that uh, knight to e4 looks also cute. Knight could jump to f2. Okay, that's why in the game Timan played bishop to f3, attacking queen. And if queen moves, then white is winning. But Kasparov has knight to e4. Knight takes knight. Rook takes knight. Knight to d2, pressure is on the knight, which is pinned. f5. White rook is under attack, so rook to e1. White would like to capture on d4. Kasparov played d3. Knight takes on b3. 
knight would like to jump to d4. So Gasparo played e5, bishop to d2, rook to b6 is attacking knight. And where is knight going? So looks like knight to a5 would be played, but knight could be loose. So bishop takes knight, pawn takes bishop, and knight to c1 was played. Kasparov captured pawn on b2, bishop to c3, and it is black to move. How would you continue if you had black pieces? I thought that rook to c2 looks good. Doesn't look too bad. But uh, Kasparov moves is a killer one. So he played d2, attacking rook. And uh, rook to f1 was played. If bishop takes on b2, then we would have this continuation. Pawn takes, rook, this is check, queen takes, and now bishop to b4, attacking queen, and if queen takes bishop, there is checkmate. So in the game after d2, rook to f1 was played, Kasparov captured rook, Timan captured on b2, Bishop to c4. Now queen is protected. Threat is pawn takes knight. Knight to e2. Bishop to b3 attacking queen. Knight to c3. Timan is attacking queen on d5. But Kasparu just captured queen. Knight takes on d5. Bishop to b3 attacking knight. Threat is d1. So knight to c3 was played, bishop to b4, knight to d1, and Kasparov castled, and Timan resigned. is in bad shape, and he didn't see a way out. For example, just can show you what is happening here. If king tries to help, then bishop to c4 and king must go back. Then perhaps bishop to e2, attacking knight. Bishop takes pawn. Rook to c8, threat is rook to c1. So bishop must go back. Rook to c2, threat is bishop takes knight, winning bishop. That's why at move 30, Timan resigned Kasparov just suffocated Timan didn't he and that is all I hope that you enjoyed watching this video I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now